did you watch the PlayStation State of Play today? I think that was I, today. Yesterday. 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 Oh, okay. yesterday. I watched like part of it. I was making dinner while it was on, so I kind of had it on in the background whilst I was cooking. The new Ghost of Tsushima game looks good, or whatever. Yes. Ghost of, what is it called now? Ghost of something. Ghost of Yotai? Yotei? I don't want to pronounce it. Yotei, Jerry. Y-O-T-E-I, you tell me. How is that pronounced? Yotei. 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 Yeah, and now it's, it's a girl, a, and I see people are complaining about the girl. It's a female protagonist. Uh, yeah, they don't like that. Voiced by a dropout TV regular, Erica Ishii. Okay. She's voicing the lead character. Nice. Yep, I like okay. that because I like her. Because I like dropout. <laughs> right. So this is the first. Well, they they re-released the first one on PS5, right? Is that mm-hmm. what they did? This this will be the first like native PS5 ghost game these other games i watched this hell is us trailer that looked pretty cool i see like (laughs) there's a lot of games coming out like third person action rpgs are seem to be coming back i feel like maybe you can make these games and they're not too expensive or less expensive than maybe some other games because there's a few of these in the in the lineup of uh the sony state of play there was that one there was like art arch age I think. And there was some other one that I watched. I don't know. It looked pretty cool. That one looked good though. The um the hell is us. Controversial title. I haven't decided if I'm excited or not yet for the Soul Reaver uh remasters. But those are I mean, it's nice to see those games again. Back up. Yeah. 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 But I mean, I played those games twenty five years ago. Is that when I played Soul Reaver? Soul Reaver's been a bit, yeah. I played Soul Reaver, yeah. I played Soul Reaver, I had graduated college, but I was still living at home. So it had to be 1999. I'm interested to see how those games look hold up. <laughs> at this, at the, like, it must be hard. Just like control-wise at this point, too. Like, it's, at that time, like, the way the movement was, it was, like, pretty, like, oh, this is, like, incredible as far as, like, how I'm grabbing onto and climbing on things and like gliding and stuff, but like it might be a little rough now. Yeah. Or <laughs> just like uh I'm pulling the you would pull the the iron bar out of the fence and you would stab someone. I'm like, wow, you could like pull things and look at the animation on the killing the bad guy here. And I'd, I'd never seen anything like that before at the time. It's not going to do much for you now. But I was going to say, but is it going to do anything for me now? It's like, maybe the memory is better. Because mm, yes. at the time, it blew my mind. Yes. Right? Like this, uh, at the time, especially when I was playing that game, like I have very distinct memories of playing the first Soul Reaver game. I, like I said, I had recently graduated college. I was living at home. It sucked. I was depressed. And I was playing Soul Reaver. And it was like, oh, this is, this is literally. This guy gets it. <laughs> this guy, he's just literally. like me <laughs> yeah exactly like it was so like and again it's the kind of dumbass thing that only a 21 year old would think but it was 22 that, maybe but yeah there was certainly some of that with soul reaver right yeah. because like it was it was the dark edgy game mm-hmm. back then like it, it was like oh yeah this was like the gateway yeah right. this is so, like oh so this the game, modern modern yeah. games this game understands me right. at, at that point in my life and which is funny, but again, it was also perfect. So I don't know if I'd want to play it again. I'd rather them like, oh, and we're gonna make Soul Reaver three, something new and amazing. I don't know, maybe I don't know. Right. Mm. Yeah. Um. What else was there? It does sound like though they kept Tony J's voice in the trailers, and I believe he died like ten years ago. So. <laughs> right. They're also coming out. They're coming out with a Hitman VR game for PSVR for PSVR two, which is a good, great name. Um, I don't think they came out with too many games for PSVR two, but if you bought Hitman World of Assassination, I mean, if you bought Hit the Hitman game, you can pay extra to unlock this if you have the the VR. It looks really cool and fun, but like no one's gonna be able to play that. Like, how many PSVR twos do they sell? 